working with tables in Access 2007. Learning Plan Opening a table, customizing the table in Design View. Primary Key Foreign Key What is a Relationship? Sorting Records Filtering Records Mighty, today ma'am has given some data and asked me to store in two tables. She has also asked me to set the records in ascending order. Is all this possible in MS Access 2007? Yes, dear. It is possible in Access 2007. I will help you create these tables and show you how to sort the records in ascending order. Opening a table when opening a table, you need to decide whether to open it in design view to edit the fields or the data sheet view to edit the data. In data sheet view, you can open a table in the data sheet view by either double clicking on the table from the database window, selecting the table from the database window by clicking the office button and then open. In design view, you can open the table directly in the design view. Select the table from the database window and right click on the table. Then select the design view option. Customizing the table in design view. Adding fields. You can add a new field to your table by either opening the table in design view and clicking data sheet tab or inserting a new field into the middle of the table design grid and select the column selected field. Click the insert button in the fields and columns group. The new field will be inserted before the column that has been selected. Inserted new field. Typing in the new field information at the bottom of the table design grid. Deleting fields. You can delete a field by using the following steps. Select the field you want to delete. Selected field. Click the delete button in fields and columns group. A message box appears. Click yes to delete the field. The selected field will be deleted as shown below. Deleted new field. Renaming fields. To rename a field, select the field name in the design grid. Replace it by typing in the new name. Retype to highlight it field. Primary key. Each table should always have a primary key. In fact, Access automatically creates an index for the primary key, which helps speed up queries and other operations. Access also ensures that every record has a value in the primary key field and that it is always unique. When you create a new table in Datasheet view, Access automatically creates a primary key for you and assigns it a field name of ID and the auto number data type. The field is hidden in the Datasheet view, but you can see it if you switch to the Design view. Setting the primary key. View your table in the design view. Select the field or fields that you want to use as the primary key. Choose the primary key command in the tools group in the design tab. Design tab, primary key button, set primary key. Removing the primary key. View your table in the design view. Select the field or fields that contains the primary key you want to remove. Choose the primary key command in the tools group in the designs tab. Foreign keys. A foreign key simply stated is another table's primary key. The values in a foreign key field match values in the primary key, indicating that the two records are related. For example, a customer and an order that she has placed unlike primary keys. A table can have more than one key. A foreign key does not necessarily have unique values. A foreign key cannot reliably identify a particular record. For example, you cannot always tell which record you are viewing from the orders table by looking at the customer ID. You create a foreign key when you use the lookup wizard to create a field. What is a relationship? A relationship is how you tell the program that a piece of information means the same thing in more than one table. Table relationships can be created between two tables as long as they have a common field. In the example, database contacts should have a relationship to reservations because they both contain the field contact ID. Setting the relationship in access is very important. Once a relationship is established, you can view information from both tables at the same time by creating a query. Forms and reports are built from queries or tables. When you take the step of setting up the relationship, you increase the flexibility tremendously.
Relationships are created using a primary key from one table and linking it to the related field in another table, now called a foreign key. Establishing Relationships To establish a relationship between tables, click the Relationships command in the Show Hide group on the Database Tools tab in the ribbon. When the Show Table dialog box appears, select each table name and click Add for the tables you want to relate. When you are done, close the Show Table dialog box. Some more. Tables must be closed in order to establish relationships. You should now see a relationship map that contains all the tables that were selected. Moving tables in the relationship map. To move a table that appears in the relationship map, place your mouse over the table you want to move. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the table to a new location. Release the mouse button to drop the table in its new place. Relating tables. There are a few ways to establish relationships between tables. Using the Edit Relationships command located on the Design tab of the ribbon. Using the Drag and Drop method. Both methods give you the same end result, but the Drag and Drop method is much easier and saves you several steps. Relating tables with the Drag and Drop method. It is easy to relate tables from the relationship map. Select a field name from one table by holding down the left mouse button. Drag the field name from the one table to the other table in the desired relationship. Drop the first field name onto the field name that you want to relate by releasing the left mouse button. In the example above, we selected the book ID field from the books table and dragged and dropped it on the book ID field in the orders table. The edit relationships dialog box appears. Select the enforced referential integrity option. This option is explained in detail below. Click Create. The relationship between the tables will show as given below. Understanding Types of Relationships Access 2007 allows for several different types of relationships. These include one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-many. The relationship type you will come across most frequently and the one created in our school scenario is the one-to-many relationship. One-to-many the one-to-many relationship means that data for that field will show up a single time in one table, but many times in the related table. For example, let's look at one of the book titles in the library. The book ID for that book should appear only once in the books table because that table lists every title that is taught. But it will probably appear many times in the orders table because it is hoped that it gets ordered by many people many times. The symbol for the one-to-many relationship will look like this. One-to-many, many-to-one. Sorting records. Sorting is probably the simplest way to look at data. It keeps like things together. In our students' database, for example, we could sort our data a number of ways. We could sort students based on the classes. We could sort our students by the state in which they live or by their zip codes. We could sort our students by the subjects they take. Access 2007 allows you to sort the records in our database tables based on a field or value that is either text like student's name, or numerical, like a student's zip code. Depending on the type of value, Access offers different sorting options. Sorting on text values. When Access 2007 sorts on a text value, it offers the two options described in the table below. Sort option, also called description, A to Z, ascending. Values closest to A are displayed first. Z to A, descending. Values closest to Z are displayed first. Sorting based on a text value. Right-click on the field you wish to sort. When the menu appears, select either the Sort A to Z or the Z to A option. With A to Z, the records will be sorted based on the chosen field's value with the value closest to A at the top of the table. With Z to A, the records will be sorted using the chosen field value with the value closest to Z at the top of the table. Records sorted in ascending order. Sorting on numeric values. Access 2007 also offers the two options when sorting based on a numerical value. These options are described below. Sort option, also called description. Smallest to largest. Ascending values. Closest to one are displayed first. 
largest to smallest descending values furthest from one are displayed first sorting based on a numeric value to sort based on a numeric value right click on the field you wish to sort when the menu appears select either the lowest to highest or the largest to smallest option with the highest to lowest records will be sorted the using the chosen fields value with a value farthest from one at the top of the table as seen below with the smallest to largest option records will be sorted based on the chosen fields value with a value closest to one at the top of the table clearing a sort clear your sort click the clear sort command in the sort and filter group on the filtering records when you tell access 2007 to filter your records you are asking it to search all the records in a table find every record in that table that meets the criteria you set display the results for you in the table by hiding the records that do not meet the criteria you can filter data using what microsoft calls the filter by field and filter by selection methods Additionally, Access 2007 can perform an advanced filter, which is really a small query that is run only on one table. Method description: Filter by field lists all of the values that have been entered in a specified field, so that you can choose which value or values you want Access to find. Filter by selection offers the ability to search records based on the value that is currently selected in a table. You can ask it to find records that equal the value, do not equal the value, contain the value, do not contain the value. Advanced filter narrows filtered results further by performing additional filters or sorts. Filter by field When you filter by field, Access 2007 finds all of the values that have been entered in the specified field. Access lists all these values for you so that you can choose which value or values you want Access to find for you within that field. Filter by field. To filter by field, highlight the column for the field you want to use as a filter. In the example below, we are filtering using the first name field. In the sort and filter group in the ribbon, click on the filter command. It looks like a funnel. When the dialog box appears, select the value that you want to use as the filter value. Checking select all will return every record in the table. However, clicking on this option when all the values are checked will clear the selections. Checking blank will find only records in which this field is empty. Check as many of the values as you would like to see returned in your results. Click okay. The results will appear in the table. In the example below, only those records were returned that you selected. Tick the correct option.